What is up guys, Giants Nami01 here with another FIFA 18 tutorial. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to attack in FIFA 18. It's gonna be a simple but yet super effective tutorial for how to attack, how to maintain possession, and how to score goals in FIFA 18. This is the second big tutorial I've come out with today. I already did a passing one, an advanced passing one, and I'm gonna be coming out with a defending tutorial. So make sure to subscribe because these tutorials are coming out as well as over the coming months. I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of them. And you do not want to miss out. Like I said, guys, it's going to be a simple yet effective tutorial. So we're going to divide this into two simple steps. The first step is going to be around three quarters of the pitch is when you're going to be attacking and getting the ball near the opponent's penalty area. Then the second step, which is much more difficult, is actually being able to finish getting the ball in that tight spaces and actually were able to score some goals. So let's start off with step number one, which is getting near the penalty area. This is where the majority of the time is going to take getting the ball up there. You just got to be extremely patient with this, guys. The key to this step, guys, is sprinting. Now, I have a sprinting tutorial, which I just recently came out with, and it's imperative that you guys watch this in order to really be successful in step one. You should not be sprinting more than 20% of the time in FIFA 18. If you guys want to know exactly when to sprint, make sure to watch that tutorial, but you should not be sprinting most of the time. You have to take your time, as you're seeing here in these situations. Take your time, pass the ball. If you have to pass it backwards, pass it backwards. But don't force things. If you are in a situation where there's a whole bunch of defenders against just one attacker of yours, take your time, do a precision dribble, do some sort of move to buy time for the rest of your players to catch up. Once you get comfortable, you don't sprint too often, you learn to pass backwards if you have to, you're going to be able to get through past step one very easily. But step two, which is finishing, is a lot more difficult. The first thing you guys got to realize is the goal when you get near the penalty area of your opponent is to move those center backs out of position so you can get in there and actually get some goal opportunities. Keep in mind, these are going to be really tight spaces. Defenders, once you get near the penalty area, really cramp up in there. It's going to be really difficult for you to break that apart and get into a really good goal opportunity. I'm going to show you three main possibilities of how to finish once you get the ball near the penalty area. The first one, which I do not recommend too much because it is quite difficult, but it is still possible if you practice your passing, is to actually pass the ball in there. So here you're seeing a situation, you want to pass the ball, pass it horizontally, pass it backwards. The key is to make those center backs lock on to you so when you pass it backwards, they follow the pass, leave a huge gap behind them, and then you can pass it to them. But you have to be extremely precise with your passing. That's why it's so difficult. Number two, which I find to be the best solution, is to do skill moves. Now, there's a whole bunch of different skill moves you can do. I already have tutorials on the precision dribble, stop and turn, um, the new fake shot. And there's a lot of different ones that you can do, and they're great for pulling out. They're great for pulling out those center backs and leaving gaps behind them. So here you're seeing a situation. I'm kind of close to the penalty area, not too too close, but already the center back is locked on to me, and I do the precision dribble, which I have a tutorial on. Super effective to make them lock on to you, follow you out, and leave a huge gap behind them. As you see, there are a huge gap behind them, and that's just gonna leave perfect space for your teammate to make a run into that open space, and you can find him with a through ball, with a regular pass, depending on the situation, and get him the ball and score an easy goal. So that's very, very key. That precision dribble is a great way to make those center backs pull them out of position, make them lock on to you, and then allow the rest of your teammates to make runs behind them so you can find them for an easy goal opportunity. Here you're seeing the stop and turn. The center back pulls out there. He does the stop and turn. It's able to completely get past those defenders. A lot of times, the great part about skill moves, they require a little bit more agility. And obviously, your attackers, for the most part, are going to be more agility-wise. They're going to be able to switch directions much quicker, maintain their speed much better than the defenders. A lot of times, the center backs are stronger but slower. So if you're able to do some agility moves like the stop and turn, like the fake shot, and switch direction quickly, you're going to be able to blow right by them. And then one more situation here, this time with the fake shot. The first time fake shot, probably the best first touch in FIFA 18 once again. Super, super effective. You see those attackers in the box, in that penalty area. You pass in the ball. You do the first time fake shot into the goal. You're going to be able to get past those center backs a lot of the times. And you're going to be able to score a nice little goal. Lastly, the third option is to do just a quick attack. 
Don't stop. Go up the pitch quickly. More like a counterattack. Doing some one-two touches as you see there. One-two passes. You can do the driven passes again. You can watch my advanced passing tutorial, which I just recently came out with, to give you some helps on what types of passes it will help you out in these quick and attacking situations but it's really really effective before those center backs can actually get into position do the quick attack and score a lot of goals but the biggest tip i can tell you in terms of attacking guys is to change it up i've said it before in previous fifas and i'll say it again in fifa 18 that's the most important tip is to change it up do sometimes do some crosses Sometimes attack from the wing, sometimes attack from the middle, sometimes do skill moves, sometimes do more passing. Always, always, always change it up. A good defender will be able to stop any sort of attack you do no matter what it is. No matter how broken it is, there are ways to stop it if you, all you have to do is focus on stopping that one attacking style. But if you're constantly changing up your attacking style, when they think you know they know what you're going to do, when they think, oh, he's going to the wings, so he's automatically going to cut inside by doing a stop and turn, and you cross it in there, and you confuse them, or the opposite, they think you're going to cross it, and you cut it in with a skill move, it's what makes it effective. But you have to constantly change up your attacking style in order for you to be successful in FIFA 18. But that is it, guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. It is simple, yet quite effective. So hopefully you guys can master this. It's going to take time. It's not that easy, but you can do this. Click on one of these boxes if you want to check out some of my other playlists, my tutorials, top five videos, and my formation, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much.